is Tarim. She said, why is it so difficult to literally like just anybody romantically? Why are we so choosy and are mostly alone? So when you know, when you know in your, in your whole, your soul knows that is God is other half. No matter how many people come to you, you will not be attracted to them. Because you know who you're waiting for. You know your one is there. Your one on, the one and only, the one you spiritually align with. And that you physically align with. Even if you're not going to be with them physically, you will still feel that you cannot align with any person. No matter they come, how they come to you. No, no, they, you cannot until you meet that person because it's like, it, it is as if you're waiting for them. It is as if you're waiting for them because you know you are meant to be, you, you know you, you, you're drawn towards that person. It's like sometimes um, I know that some people, they, even, they, they, they can even dream or even sense that these people are there even before they meet them. Your person, that person, that one and only, the only connection that agrees with your own soul. That, I mean, it is your, your soul anyway, it's part of your soul. That connection that agrees with you. I mean, the, other people can come and go. I mean, you know that you're waiting for that one. So people might be just coming to you, but you just want to be alone. Until that person comes in, then you know things changes and you know. You, you remember that's why you were feeling like that all along. That is what I'm talking about. Le rato la moya. So why are we in this kind of position? Being put in this kind of things where we are, with, we are uh, connected to these people that we cannot be with. And it messes up everything about everything. Guys, when that person comes, that is when you're going to get all the information that you need because this just going to be freely come to you, spiritual and physical. That information is going to come to you. It will come to you. Once you meet them, once you meet them, there's no hiding. Even the person cannot hide. Even you cannot hide. I mean, you can hide, physically hide, but spiritually you cannot. Spiritually you cannot hide from each other. The person physically can. Play their cards close to their chest. Hide things. Spiritually you're going to be shown things that they're hiding from you. Spiritually. I mean, in dreams. Not only in dreams. They're going to be talking to you. The same way we talk to ancestors, their higher self, you'll be talking to them, like their voices, proper, proper voice. If, if it's a female, the, her voice, if it's a male, her voice is going to be telling you everything that you need to know. They're going to be playing music for you, telling you exactly what they are trying to tell you. You're going to be seeing things in dreams with them telling you things that they are afraid to tell you physically. I mean, this connection is, 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 is a different kind of connection altogether. When I'm saying that it is separate from ancestors, but ancestors, they work with that, that person, obviously, because the whole thing works together, because sometimes they have to use that person to reach you first, because you might be hiding, running away from listening to your ancestors. You've been trying, they've been trying to get hold of you with dreams and everything. You've been trying, you've been running to churches, you've been running to places and, and hiding away from ancestors and saying you don't want to hear about them. They, 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 they might just use that person to reach you. And once you hear from that person, dream-wise, spiritual. You, you have no, you have no, your life changes. It, it just does. It's, it's, it's just a straight fact. It changes. So, Lerato Lamoyal comes for that. 
and it's not gonna be like fun like people are thinking oh it's gonna be fun and oh you're gonna be enjoying yourself lying down cutting down you know no it's nothing like that this is guys like i said with that strong way that i use it can come as in like it all roses and everything can just change and you become a sick person but not the one, the one who doesn't go to hospital and when i'm saying sick i don't mean like sick as in sick where you need uh, tablets i'm talking about as in someone who's love sick I, i'm not talking about relationships where you you met someone you kind of get attracted to them and you kind of think they're not they're not uh, they're not you know you're gonna move on that one you cannot move on move away from okay you cannot move on from that one that one is a spiritual one like i said you cannot move away from the ancestors cannot do anything about it and god in her or herself uh oh i don't know about that one well, i shouldn't talk about things i don't know about but i know about the ancestor spirits entities and stuff like that they work with you and that per se spiritual physically things might be different between the energies might not align properly spiritually you will always be aligning so the lucky ones will be if things are aligning properly physically and aligning properly spiritually so if those two are aligning all together then we might be talking about some things that are different but to get to the stage i think you really have to be uh, i don't know I don't know. You you have have to have matured so much spiritually to get to that level. But I cannot say something I don't know. But from what I understand and from what I have seen, it doesn't look like that connection can. Hey, I don't know if you can align in both physical and spiritual. That connection is just. Uh, is messy so when you dream about him a lot of things they're going to be showing everything about this person right everything i mean like everything their, their movements their movements right there is no need for you to be validating with the physical person because the whole thing is not about uh, uh, physical guys remember even though the the, the, emo, the, the, the the feelings and all those kind of things might be too strong or too powerful for you to you just want to be there I mean to get to the state where you both uh, you understand what is happening between the two of you and you're okay with it and you can manage your your individual separate lives from that you just know that this is spiritual but physically you want to live your life you want the other one to live their lives if you can both agree that this is how it is but we live separate and we just come to talk about things that will build us and will, will make us grow spiritually once you get to that level you're lucky right so you do not need to go back to to this person all the time to validate what you're seeing because in the dream they will tell you everything that you need to know okay in the dream they will tell you everything that you need to know they will tell you where they are, their state, what they, they need you to work on. Because it's about you. It is about you to grow spiritually. Remember, it's about you to grow spiritually. Right? So, they will be telling you things in the dream. Or you'll be saying things in the dreams about them. It's just to validate that. You know, you're validating that by seeing that uh, this is exactly what you saw in the dream. It's validation. But you don't need that. Spiritually, it is what it is. Do you understand? It is what it is. There's no need for validation. So, yeah. So that is how it is. Yeah, they can sense. They can sense because even them, they, they, they know that that's how they are feeling. But like I said, right? Like I said, this is a spiritual thing. 
there are some things that they are meant to be staying dormant in the other and the other ones to be shown things to be their 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 their, their, their senses to be heightened uh, and the other ones you might find the other one is much is, uh, is spiritual is too mature for you but you might think that you are mature spiritually like that one is still below but it's not like that you know it's not like that there's always gonna be balance there's always gonna be you're both in the same path but it might be that you're seeing something different from the other and the other one is seeing something different from you but it's meant to be shown to you that way do you understand the other one might just you you might just they, they, they might just um they can be in a position where uh they are how do i say it like they're disgusted disgusted is a big word right disgusted they detest you and you might find that you really really are mentally going crazy in love that one is disgust is disgusted that these two things are meant to be showing you something uh, something there you just need to try and see what it is that that person is trying to show you what it is that you're reflecting back to that person okay you need to look at that but don't worry about that other person now let's worry about you it's about you remember this connection is meant to be helping you grow spiritually grow so focus on yourself make sure that you look after yourself and that other person if they're okay and things are in sync with you're in sync with each other that is good it's a good feeling isn't it but it's not meant to take you away from where you are meant to be okay where you're meant to be you're supposed to hold yourself together because this relationship is too strong you're supposed to hold yourself together you know when i'm saying hold yourself together me i mean that you need to remember to hold yourself together this is not meant to be like a romantic now you want to be there all the time kissy kissy and stuff like that no do you understand this is it's not meant to be like that not at this stage you just need to focus on yourself okay focus on yourself that is just that so i think that is just that guys um i mean uh lot to la moya guys it's, it's it's just too much it's too much you're welcome um uh, no sipo no sipo yeah you're welcome so yes it's, it's meant to, to 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 help us grow you know spiritually meant to help us grow even now it can you can get lots of triggers you know it can it can mess you up like when i'm saying mess up i don't mean in a, you know i mean mess up like where the love is just too much you know you you just you just want to just be thinking about that person because it's crazy love it's a different kind of love that we know as human beings why am i talking about this kind of thing like this it's because i'm meant to talk about this so remember that uh you will be growing yes it, it is uh if, if you are on that on that path on that uh soul partner path where uh, it is too much. I mean, you, you, you can't align with any other person apart from that person. Unfortunately, that is what it is. And, and, and I'm, I'm, this is not even about sex, because sex is nothing. <sighs> you, you can, once you, you, you've known, you, 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 you so recognize it's half. It's nothing to do with sexual guys. Uh, you, you be satisfied right spiritually satisfied so sex uh, if it it is there uh, which might even actually mess things up if it happens but that is a spiritual kind of uh, connection guys remember that that connection is spiritual so you you you, you must uh, uh, this is when as, as physical people as people like this physical people we need to hold ourselves together because the, the, the pool is, is too much, isn't it? The feelings. 
it's too much. But you need to hold yourself together as a human being when it comes to that kind of relationship, it's not a relationship, connection. When it comes to that kind of connection, remember to hold yourself together. Okay? And, and, uh, uh, I wanted to be, I wanted to say, be, um, uh, just, just be there for yourself and the other person if you can. Because whatever it is that you, you're experiencing, whatever it is that they're experiencing, is difficult for them and for you. So remember that. I mean, it's a difficult thing to be in that kind of thing. Okay? So that is just that. So guys, that is just me. I was talking about that. So I'll answer the questions about relationship uh, one by one. So I'll answer them like that. So that is just that. Guys, we'll, we'll, we'll touch on this Baratani uh, Bamoya um, as many times as we can because uh, to be in that kind of path is, 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 is difficult for anyone to be in that. Okay? To be in that path and have ancestors as well and spirits going on crazy in the background oh, towards the many like that. So it is not an easy path to be in. Just look after yourself. And you will get there. You'll get there. You'll make it. You'll make it. Just enjoy the experience, okay? Enjoy the experience. Come on, see? Where is that?